Stegosaurus is one of the world's most distinguishable dinosaurs, instantly recognizable by its two rows of upright dermal plates. These run all along its back towards the powerful spikes at the end of its tail. Hello everybody and welcome to another Jurassic World Evolution 2 video and today we've got another species profile to break down and that is of the Stegosaurus. And it has a few surprises actually. So we get three shots of it as usual with the first one showing two just walking by, well one of them walking by and one doing the actually outro animation for Stegosaurus in the first game which is Interesting, seeing that they're recycling some of those old animations. Wonder what other ones we'll get to see. But, not only that, we get to see um, different skin patterns on them, which the first one that's up close is sort of a reddish-purple one, and the other is sort of a pale green. However, both of them have something very surprising, which we'll see later on in the um, species field guide, but we'll get to that in a second. The next clip shows us one of the stegosaurus being super adorable and rolling on the ground and like sort of like a puppy would. And the other one, actually we witness it sort of eating, which again is representing the paleobotany because it could be that the plant that's on the ground, which looks like grass, but there could be other ones nearby that represent um, their paleo food, which on the forums for the Stegosaurus, it mentions that they like berries and they came before grass, so they won't be interested in that. And also in that it mentions that they don't like interacting with dinosaurs like Triceratops, which is going to be very interesting to see. I wonder how that'll play out in the game. Will they like start to like attack each other or will they just try and show which one is stronger, I don't know how it's going to play out, but it's going to be very interesting to see. Because I'm not going to be just annoyed with carnivores, it seems. But in the last clip, we get to see them breaking out, well, one of the Stegos attempting to break out with them recycling that animation from the first game as well. And in the background for that, we get to see some buildings and also a rock. Now, this rock is actually important because it's actually connected to the fence, I believe. Like, you can't really tell because they're using the stegosaurus to, like, sort of hide the rock, which is a good way to do it. But if you look at it from what we can see, it looks like it actually is literally touching the fence, which is going to be so awesome to have compared to what happened in the first evolution game where all the scenery items you had to have, like, six feet away from the path or um, another tree and it was frustrating but now we get to have them like touching other things which is gonna be really good to have this time and for any other um, scenery plants we get to have. Now back to the stegos on the skins I mentioned that they all had something unique which if you actually look closely you can see the the purple on both of them is actually bioluminescence which We've actually seen with the Parasaurolophus in Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous, specifically I think we saw it in Season 1, and I think we might have gotten a glimpse of it in Season 3, I can't remember, it's been a while uh, since I watched it, but yeah, it's going to be really good to see bioluminescent. Now it could be just due to the lighting, but if you look at when the Stegosaurus is actually attacking the fence, if you look on the, the tail by the shadow where it's supposed to be a lot paler, it actually shows a bit of purple, which could be the bioluminescence reacting to the darkness around there, which is going to be really good. And we don't get to see any other dinosaurs with the Stegosaurus, which could be that it means that it's going to be a very isolated dinosaur. It may not be highly sociable, even though on the forums it does say that apart from Triceratops, it will be pretty sociable with other herbivores and some carnivores, like smaller ones that can't attack it, which it's going to be really nice to see how lively these dinosaurs are. But that's it, guys. There isn't too much to go over in this one, but if you, hopefully in the next 
next week we get the um, Mosasaurus or, you know, a Pteranodon or any aquatic reptile or something. Probably we'd get a Mosasaurus first. But hopefully we get something like that to, you know, get some variety because we want to see that Mosasaurus so badly, please. But if you've enjoyed this um, species field guide breakdown, leave a like, I'd appreciate it. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to join the hunt as we're almost at a thousand subscribers and hopefully we can reach that before the one year anniversary of the channel. And also, leave in the comments what you think about the Stegosaurus. Personally, my favorite part was when the Stegosaurus was just rolling about like a little puppy. It was so cute. And the other one's just like, yo, chill, come on, relax. The other's like, no, I like to roll, wee, wee, wee. But if you've enjoyed this video, leave a like, all that stuff. And until next time, be safe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye!